The release of the Beatles' song Now and Then had a profound and sensational impact on May Pang, offering her a poignant connection to the past and a flood of emotions tied to her time with John Lennon. As the haunting echoes of Lennon's voice filled the air in the demo recording, May found herself engulfed in a mix of nostalgia and longing, missing the creative force that was John. For May Pang, hearing the unreleased recording was not just a musical experience, it was a journey back to the days of the Lost Weekend, a period when Lennon and Pong shared a unique bond. The song became a sonic time capsule, transporting her to a time of artistic exploration and personal connection that she held dear. Expressing her sentiments, May Pang revealed that the release stirred deep emotions within her. The undeniable presence of John's voice triggered a profound sense of loss, and she openly admitted to missing him dearly. Despite the passage of time, the connection forged during the creation of the song remained etched in her memory. May Pang also spoke of her admiration for the results of the Beatles' struggle in bringing Now and Then to fruition. She acknowledged the dedication and artistic labor that went into the making of the song, emphasizing the collective effort of the band. The release served as a testament to the Beatles' enduring legacy and their commitment to producing meaningful, timeless music. In reflecting on Now and Then, May Pang recognized not only the musical brilliance, but also the emotional depth woven into the fabric of the song. It became a touching tribute to a bygone era, a reminder of the unparalleled synergy that defined the Beatles and the irreplaceable role that John Lennon played in shaping their sound. The release of this song became a deeply personal and resonant moment for May Pang, bridging the past with the present and emphasizing the enduring impact of Lennon's artistic legacy.